Father Thomas Conway was a Navy lieutenant who served as chaplain aboard the USS Indianapolis. He escaped the sinking ship in July 1945, but later died during the ordeal in the sea. His story is one of the many examples of dedication, service, and heroism that characterize the history of the USS Indianapolis. Father Conway was born in 1908 in Waterbury, Connecticut. He graduated from Niagara University in Buffalo, New York, and then studied for the priesthood in the seminary at Niagara. He was ordained a Catholic priest for the Diocese of Buffalo and served for eight years in area parishes. Father Conway enlisted in the U.S. Navy in 1942 and was commissioned as an officer and chaplain. After several other duties, he was assigned to serve on the USS Indianapolis in August 1944. On the ship, he ministered to Catholic sailors, of course, but also to sailors of other faiths. He was a staunch advocate for the common sailor, assisting them through disciplinary procedures and organizing writing tables in the mess hall to help sailors write letters home to family. Father Conway was on board the ship when it was hit by a kamikaze off the coast of Okinawa. Nine members of the Indy crew died as a result of that attack. Father Conway conducted the funeral services for those lost shipmates on board the ship. When the Indianapolis returned to California for repairs, Father Conway, at his own expense, embarked on a nationwide trip to visit and express his condolences to each of the nine families whose sailors had died at the Okinawa kamikaze attack. As the ship was returning to the States for repairs, Father Conway authored a poem in tribute to his shipmates on the USS Indianapolis. It is a touching expression of the love he had for the men with whom he served. Father Conway rejoined the ship for its return duty in the Pacific. After the ship was sunk by enemy action, Father Conway dedicated the remaining hours of his life to ministering and encouraging his suffering and frightened flock. He worked among the survivors in the perilous ocean, gathering the sailors in prayer, offering encouragement and administering final blessings for those near death. Father Conway tried to reassure each individual, telling them not to worry, saying, quote, you will either be going home or you will be with the Lord. With no concern for his personal well-being, Father Conway swam constantly among the sailors to calm them and keep their spirits hopeful. His selfless expenditure of energy finally took its toll, and Father Conway succumbed to the elements in the sea on the third day of the ordeal. The story of Father Conway inspires us still today. Helping to keep the memory of Father Conway alive is the Waterbury, Connecticut Veterans Memorial Committee. They commissioned a sculpture in tribute to Father Conway. The sculpture is the creation of Andrew Chernak, himself a decorated Vietnam combat veteran. It features the chaplain in the sea praying with a fellow sailor. This sculpture provides a stirring image of the heroic Navy chaplain, Father Thomas Conway. Please remain standing for the invocation given by Father James Sullivan, Rector, Basilica of the Immaculate Conception. Heavenly Father and loving God, we come before you this day with hearts filled with gratitude, grateful for our lives and your presence in our lives. We thank you in particular this day for the life of Father Thomas Conway, a true son of Waterbury, 
a brother priest, a son of this beautiful basilica, a Navy chaplain, and a man who possessed a profound love for his fellow sailors, his country, and his God. It is now my distinct honor and privilege to introduce to you the 77th Secretary of the United States Navy, the Honorable Kenneth J. Braithwaite. Today, ladies and gentlemen, the Navy is here, I am here, to say that we are sorry. We are sorry for not recognizing the heroism the dedication and the valor of one of our own. Father Thomas Conway was a sailor amongst sailors, committed to his service in uniform as both a Catholic priest and a United States Naval officer. He had a storied record of accomplishment aboard the USS Indianapolis and prior to that service but he gave his all in his duty as he swam from group to group. Three and a half days in the water, nothing to drink, nothing to eat, and yet he went on. We all know that 12 hours before the survivors were found, Father Conway, succumbed to exhaustion and slipped beneath the deep, giving his life for his shipmates and for his country. 900 sailors went into the water, 316 came out. Father Conway was not one of them. Father Conway will go on to be a beacon of service above self, something that means everything to me, for all who serve in the Navy and the Marine Corps. His actions will inspire others who at a dark and challenging moment in their lives, like him, must follow their heart to do their duty. It is now my honor to present the Navy Cross. The President of the United States takes pride in presenting the Navy Cross posthumously to Lieutenant Thomas M. Conway, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy, for extraordinary heroism from 30 July to 2 August 1945 while serving as Chaplain of USS Indianapolis.